<clears throat> Assalamu alaikum dear students today i am here with lecture number 4 and in today's lecture the topics under discussion are electric flux and gauss's law first i am going to explain electric flux the points required to explain this topic are mentioned here i will explain all these points one by one first of all i will tell you what is flux flux is basically a latin word having meanings the process of flowing out flux means to flow anything i am considering its example water flux or electric flux water flux means flowing of water similarly electric flux means flowing of electric field lines I'll explain electric flux in two ways. First is the number of lines of force which passes through the surface area placed perpendicular to the electric field is called electric flux. I demonstrate this definition here. I consider a positive charge. Electric field around this positive charge is represented by these imaginary lines. these imaginary lines of electric field are called electric field lines or electric lines of force when i place any surface this blue surface when i place any surface in the path of these electric field lines so those lines which cross this surface and comes other side of the surface these lines make electric flux in other sense i am demonstrating it here if uh, these markers represents the direction of electric field lines and i am placing any surface in the path of these field lines so those lines which cross this surface so those lines which cross this surface uh, as you are seeing uh, you are watching here uh, those lines which cross this surface so this line make electric flux so the um, other definition is the scalar product of electric field intensity and area vector is called electric flux symbolically electric flux is represented by phi e phi represents flux and e represents electric so on the whole electric flux is represented by phi e mathematically electric flux is uh, is written as phi e is the dot product of electric field intensity and area vector being a physics students you know it very well two type of products are to be used in physics one is scalar product and the other one is dot product as you did these two type of products in the second chapter of your first year physics books once again here uh, i want to clear you uh, a difference between scalar product and vector product when the product of two vectors is a scalar such product is called a scalar product or a dot product as you can see it here electric flux is a example of scalar product electric flux is a example of dot product and when the product of two vector is a vector then the product is called vector product or cross product for cross product you can consider the example of torque and for dot product you can consider the example of electric flux so being a dot product this dot is rep is replaced with cos theta so we can write phi e is equals to e a cos theta here a question arises in your mind why i took area as a vector quantity you might have seen and read in your school level books that area is a scalar quantity but here i want to clear you that area is not a scalar quantity area is a vector quantity so here i defined it as 
area vector is the product of the magnitude of surface area and the normal which is perpendicular from that surface. So area is a vector quantity and area vector is the product of the magnitude of the surface of the area and the normal which is perpendicular from that surface. Here I am considering a surface which is placed perpendicular. So um, the area vector will be outward from this surface. I can demonstrate you um, area as a vector if I am considering if I am considering a surface and surface is placed horizontally then area vector from this surface will be in this direction and if I am considering the surface which is placed vertically then area vector uh, will be in this direction. So uh, now I am moving to the next point. Uh, that is unit, unit for electric flux. As a unit of electric flux is Newton meter square per coulomb. Another unit can be used joule meter per coulomb. How these units come? Um, as electric flux is, uh, mathematically electric flux is written as E dot A. So unit of electric field is Newton per coulomb and unit of area is meter square. So uh, we get the unit of electric flux Newton meter square per coulomb. As we know Newton meter, one Newton meter is equals to joule. So one Newton meter is replaced with joule and meter is left here. So another unit is, uh, another unit of electric flux is joule meter per coulomb. So both these units can be used for electric flux. The next point is nature. Uh, being a scalar product. Electric flux is a scalar quantity means um, electric flux don't require any direction for its, for its description. The next point is dimension. Uh, dear students, um, here I want to give you a reminder. Uh, dimensions of all physical quantities are very important for your ETA exam. So, um, dimension of electric flux is m l q t minus 3 a minus 1. So, how this dimension comes? I derived this dimension here. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, dimension of electric field is this and dimension of area is this. So, by multiplication on the whole, the dimension of electric flux is m l 3 t minus 3 into a minus 1. Dependence of electric flux are the factors affecting electric flux are three factors. One is magnitude of E, magnitude of A and orientation of surface. Um, magnitude of E, if magnitude of electric field is strong, then electric flux will be greater. Uh, here I am representing the magnitude of E by this activity. Here I considered a positive charge. Electric field around this charge is represented by these imaginary lines. I am placing two surfaces. One surface is placed near to the charge and other surface is placed um, at some distance from the charge. So what you guess, where will be electric flux maximum? So, in case of red surface, electric flux will be maximum because at these points, when you are near to the charge, electric field intensity is strong and you can see it here. In this case, in red case, uh, maximum number of electric field lines cross this lead, red surface. So, in case of red surface, um, electric flux will be maximum and in case of blue surface, there are less number of electric lines of force which cross this surface. So in case of blue surface, electric flux is minimum. Uh, the next is magnitude of A means when uh, surface area is larger then electric flux is maximum and when a surface area is small then electric flux is minimum. So in these two cases, 
in this case electric flux will be maximum because a uh, surface area is large so uh, so many lines can cross the uh, can cross this surface so here in this case electric flux will be maximum and next is orientation of surface orientation mean position of surface in which position that surface is placed so uh, by depending upon orientation of surface uh, we observe two types of flux maximum flux and minimum flux uh, here you can see two different cases uh, in both these cases you can see electric field is in this direction electric field is from um, from this point to that point and here too electric field is from this point to that point uh, but the only different difference is the orientation of the surface here surface is placed perpendicularly to the direction of electric field lines and here the surface is placed horizontally to the direction of electric field lines here you can see the angle between surface and electric field is zero because electric field direction and the area vector from this surface both are in the same direction so angle between electric field and area is zero in this case you can see a surface is placed horizontally so area vector is vertically upward and electric field direction is rightward so here in this case angle between electric field and area vector is 90 as we know that electric flux is mathematically written as electric flux is equals to ea cos theta when theta is zero as you can see in this case when theta is zero between e and a by putting theta zero as we know that cos zero is equals to one by using the value of cos zero we get electric flux is equals to ea and this is called maximum flux and when surface is placed parallel to the electric field line in this case theta is equals to zero by putting theta is equals to z uh, theta sorry theta is equals to 90 by putting theta is equals to 90 we get uh, phi e is equals to ea cos 90 as we know cos 90 is equals to zero by using the value of cos 90 here so we get phi e is equals to ea into zero so by multiplication overall we get phi e is equals to zero which is minimum flux so uh, by orientation of surface we get two different type of flux one is maximum flux and other one is minimum flux and the next point is types of flux through a closed surface